how did you learn low level stuff and how would you recommend one start learning it from chat so you mean to do with compilers because i'll explain from compilers my first ever compiler was actually uh for a stack based language and that's incredibly simple it's the simplest language you can do it's just a stream of tokens and you match on those tokens and you just convert them into push and pop operations uh, i'll explain how i even knew what a compiler was so yeah yes assembly and how the computer works so yeah yes and assembly uh yeah how the computer works so how the how the computer works so initially when i was first learning programming I learned Python, and that was just to do some random stuff. But after a month, I had started learning C, and I only did C. I only did C for like, for like a long time, like six months. I only did C, and when you only do C, you learn a lot of things about how it works. Then you eventually, uh, eventually, you start figuring out how pointers work, uh, how the C code translates into to assembly. And one of my most helpful resources is uh, Compiler Explorer. So uh, here, you go to Godbot. Uh, I'm on like excessive dark mode, so you can't see my cursor, but you can see everything else. So yeah, if, if you look at this function, int square, int num, return int multiplied by num, you can see the assembly output right here. You, you can see it right here. Uh, and that what got, that, that what, uh, that's what like helped me learn assembly just off my knowledge of C. So, and, and, uh, and C, C compiled at like, what's it called? No, no assembly optimizations. I mean, you can look at it. Each statement translates to the, to the code needed. So let's do it like a, uh, int C equals num plus 50 and then return num plus C. I mean, you can see that this statement here is the top and then this this here, this group of code here, int c equals num plus 50, you can tell. So it loads the variable from here, adds eax to 50, and stores the variable back. And then here it loads the two variables, adds them together, and returns them. You can easily tell just by looking at the C code and the assembly code. And you can just you can just have you can work out this these analogs in your head, and you can look at C and you can immediately tell what assembly code be, be generated. If you want to learn how computers work and how assembly works and how to write assembly just learn c and then open up godbolt for a sec like godbolt and just just look and just like you can even see like different optimization levels you can see here this whole thing can be optimized into uh num plus num plus 50. so you can see here num plus num plus 50. and uh i'll show you how i learned uh, how I learned compilers was uh, what I said before. I created my own programming language. Uh, I'll bring it up. This is my first programming language. It's called Stas. Oh, wow. It didn't even turn down. Here it is. Uh, I recently archived it. I, I wrote... Uh, so this, this is Stas. This whole thing is Stas. And I have, uh, I have a bunch of... Um, uh, blog posts about it as well. So this is the first. This is the first programming language I wrote, and it took me a long time. But I learned how to write compilers. One of the best resources you'll ever have is not some book or not some paid course. I learned everything I needed to know on Wikipedia by reading code, by uh, looking how other people did it, how reading blog posts, reading things like that. And uh, you can even read mine. You can even read mine. So I wrote how uh yeah here so this is my first introduction to c you go all the way up here you start with creating a compiler part one i talk about uh tokenization creating a compiler part two how does it work this is compilers under the hood this is my first compiler it kind of sucked uh yeah so this is um this is tokenization uh yeah play yeah compiler part three I did all of this. This is this is this is literal code generation. This is code generation uh, that I did. So this takes uh, when I got to here, I had tokens from the Lexa, and I converted it into this intermediate representation with some parser, and then uh, I generated code based on that. 
yeah, and it was like, so language conventions and type checking, Turing, Turing complete, and uh, where is it? Creating a compiler finale. Your blog, pl uh, chat says, your blog posts look very worth checking out. Thank you. Uh, I wrote these a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, seriously, if you want to learn compiler development, I've, all I've read, I've read, I've personally read papers, I've read blog posts, I've read Wikipedia, I've read everything online possible that there is. But what I haven't done is I haven't bought a book, I haven't bought a paid course. You can just, you can just find these things out, out on the internet. I've learned everything I ever needed to know on the internet. So my suggestion to you is one learn C and just use C, understand how pointers work and everything. And second, find out how C transforms into assembly. And you can find, you can do that really easily by going on compiler explorer, godbolt.org is very important that you should look at. And then after that, you know how assembly works. You just look at assembly, tinker at it. And then now with that intuition of how statements and expressions transform into assembly code, you can write your own language. You can write your own set of rules, your own expressions, your own statements, and you can convert those into assembly. So it's just knowing C, right? Knowing, having that intuition of C to assembly gives you everything you need to know about compilers. That's, uh, that's everything I've got to say. Chat says, ah, I'll start with C then. Before I thought I should start with assembly, then C. No way. No way. You learn C. Learn C. It's uh, it's what everyone should learn. C is what everyone should learn. It should be mandated by state. You want to become a you want to become a programmer. You learn C. Spend like a couple of weeks learning it, and you'll thank yourself later. And you learn C, and then C has a very uh, a very very easy uh, translation into assembly. So you just learn C. You look at what it generates. You can learn, I learned most of my assembly off, I learned most of my assembly off C, right? I, I wrote my first compilers off C. It's, uh, it's a really powerful thing if you know C. That's my, that's one of my best advice to you, to everyone. 